I spent way too much money on sneakers. Somebody sponsor your boy. What's up YouTube? It's your boy here, Luigi, back at it with another video. And this one is the most highly requested video ever so far in my maybe like a month span of my YouTube career. And it is the top sneakers for the summer. And today we're gonna be limiting it to five sneakers, but also it's a lot because I do have different versions of the same sneaker. So it's, it's still a lot of sneakers, but it's still within the five. So I'm really excited to show you guys all, all these sneakers now just keep in mind that these are the sneakers that I'm personally wearing this summer I mean some of you may like it some of you might not but it is what it is man at the end of the day I'm here to show you guys all the great content that I'm trying to create and show you guys all the sneakers that I'm wearing so without further ado let's get into it so coming in at the number one spot it's gonna be Vans you guys knew I had to put these in the rotation man there's no way in hell that I was not gonna add Vans to the list for summer sneakers these are so essential everybody in the mother wears vans man come on whether you like it or not vans will never go out of style these things are always popping man and you know your boy had to spice it up this summer with the checkerboard authentics vans are so essential i have two pairs the old schools and the authentics you basically get what you pay for man the most these things go for are like 70 bucks look great with almost anything and do recommend that you guys wear these with no show socks they do look the best so First one on the list, Vans, man. Stop playing yourself, get a pair, bro. At the number two spot, we have the Adidas NMD. So right here in my hand, I have the Adidas RX1s in the linen colorway, and a lot of people actually like when I wear these. I got a lot of compliments on these. I barely wear them. Um, to be honest, I don't know why I barely wear them. They're really great shoe, I just, I just don't wear them. <laughs> but uh, you cannot go wrong with Boost, man. Boost technology is so freaking damn comfortable. Like, if you don't own a pair of Boost sneakers in 2018, honestly, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Like, you're playing yourself. Like, come on, man. Like, wh what are you doing? Just get a pair of Boost and call it a day. But for the summer, definitely, definitely a necessity because these things are so comfortable. One thing Adidas does do right is comfort-wise. Adidas is straight killing it, man. And I, I will honestly say this right now. Adidas shoes are more comfortable than Nike shoes. I don't care what anybody says. If you deny it, you're lying. <laughs> and I also have another pair of Adidas NMDs. This is the R1 colorway. This is the all white. Very. This, this is the first original one that came out. I believe I got these maybe like almost three years ago. I beat these things to a pulp, but they're still comfy. Even though these things are like beat up. That's crazy. Like almost three years later and these things are still damn comfortable. You cannot go wrong with a pair of Adidas NMDs. Like, just stop playing yourself, man. Get get a pair of NMDs and you'll thank me. At the number three spot, we have one of my favorite recent sneaker pickups in a while. I love what Nike's been doing recently in the past year. They crushed the competition, especially with the Off-White collection and the announcement with Fear of God, which I'm still waiting for. Woo! That Fear of God collection, man, they go, uh, they not ready, boy. Jerry Lorenzo. You a smart man, you know what you're doing. <laughs> but uh, let's get into the sneaker. We have the Air Max 270 coming in at the number three spot. Oh my God, I cannot tell you guys how much I love this model, man. It's such a great sneaker. I love that Nike released these for Air Max Day. The silhouette is straight dope, man. And this colorway, straight icy. This thing's so goddamn icy that it sunk the Titanic. Look at this thing, man. If you could look me straight in my face and tell me that you don't like this sneaker, there's something wrong with you, man, because this thing is straight fire, my guy. Air Max 270, stop playing yourself. Pick up a pair, man, come on. All right, guys, we're getting closer to the end of the list and coming in at the number four spot, we got the Adidas Ultra Boost. You knew, like, it Ultra Boost is one of those things, like, if you know, you know. If you're a true sneakerhead, you know this thing was going to be on this list. There's no way I could not have put these on the list, man. Ultra Boosts are so essential. I know the hype on these have died recently in the past, like, year or two, but I don't care, man. I still wear Ultra Boosts. So damn comfortable. I wear them for work. I wear them everywhere. Like, uh, Ultra Boost is a little bit more comfortable than the Adidas NMD because, number one, it costs more, and number two, it just has more boost material in it. And there are different variations of the Ultra Boost. There's Ultra Boost 1 to 4.0. My favorite personally would be the 2.0s just because I like the pattern on it with the prime knit and it just fits a lot better to me. They're very essential. I do have two Ultra Boosts. I have the uncaged version 
I definitely a dope pickup too. I freaking love these. I wear these a lot more than these, honestly, but this colorway is still still freaking fire to me man true story i wore these to the adidas store and one of the employees actually came up to me and tried to buy these off of me and it's crazy because a lot of people actually sleep on this colorway they slept on these so heavy this is the solar red pair and these things are just straight fire man i freaking love these so coming in at number four we got the adidas ultra boost stop playing yourself just get a pair man these things so damn comfortable change your life but you know we we flop around you know i don't pick a certain brand but you know team adidas is strong here you feel me so uh Adidas Ultra Boost. All right, guys, so we finally reached the end of the list. Coming in at number five, my most worn sneaker, definitely by far, and the most lightest sneaker. We got the Nike Flyknit Racer. I know these things are dirty. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> but uh, definitely, as you can see, these things are beat up to a pulp, man. I freaking love the Flyknit Racer. That so light and so versatile, man. I freaking love these. They're so damn comfortable. You cannot go wrong with a pair of flying erasers, man. I actually have two pairs of these sneakers. I also have the Volt colorway. Definitely fire. I love these things, man. I wear these the most out of all the sneakers in my collection because they're so damn comfortable. They're really light. And you just can't go wrong with a pair of these, man. Like, I really, re if there's any sneaker I could recommend, on this list it's definitely the flying eraser you cannot go wrong with these you have a ton a ton of colorways so many damn colors of these things man i know i'm gonna pick up the, the all blue navy pair uh I believe very soon i'm gonna pick that one up i'm probably gonna do a review on that one too i freaking love those you can find these for really cheap honestly too on ebay but um yeah coming in at number five the nike flying eraser i love these things man you can't go wrong with these so uh pick up a pair today all right guys that pretty much wraps it up for the top five sneakers for the summer once again thank you guys to everyone who's been watching i really do enjoy making these types of videos for you guys i'm going to continue to keep doing the polls to find out what you guys want to see what you guys don't want to see i really enjoy making these types of videos for you guys uh, make sure you do stick around towards the end of the video because i will be announcing the winner of the jason mark essential kit bundle a 30 dollars bundle which you will be getting for free but uh yeah catch you guys next time and uh full disclosure uh, my next video very excited for i'm gonna do something special for you guys i'm not gonna tell you guys what it is but i'm gonna give you a hint i'm going to a city i never been before but if you know me personally you know which city i'm talking about it's the best sports city in the world in my opinion but it's also facts but uh yeah i'll catch you guys on the next video and thank you guys so much peace